the students it is the fifth video for week two lesson fourth and in this video we will cover about we'll cover the history of some of the major developments in the downfall of the Mughal Empire and the rise of local powers regional powers and the British expansionism in the subcontinent. The students in till 707 till 707 India was under the control of powerful Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb Alamgir. After the death of Aurangzeb Alamgir the Mughal the Mughal uh, say started fighting among themselves for the throne. Clear? The Mughal prince, prince started fighting for the throne and there was a long quarrelsome fighting among these. It weakened the Sultanate. Isne Sultanate ko kamzor kiya. Second was they had forgotten about fighting tools. Hey, Muslim man, who they, ye apas mein lard lard ke jo latest fighting thi, they had forgotten about it. Clear? Ye bhi bhool chuke the. They were simply depending on the traditional medieval ages fighting weapons. Wo medieval ages ki jo talwaren thi aur neeje the, unhi par hi dependent the. Whereas the West has developed guns and bullets and tops jo bhi hai goliyan gun bullets usse chal gaye the okay uh, and in the west they had very organized armies west has developed war and fighting as a subject unhone war and fighting ko apni zindagi ka ek hissa bana liya they made it parts and parcel of their life third thing they people had left and forgotten the Islamic teachings. Ye Islami jihad or teachings se tur ho chuke the. That's why the first attack was made on them was Marhatas. Ke Hindustan ke jo ye janub, jo hindutwa ke maane wale hain Marhatas, they came in power and they started fighting against the Mughal Empire. And they captured most of the lands. And their rule continued for a quite precisable time. Okay. But when a person, Shah Waliullah Rahmatullah Alayhi in Delhi, clear, Shah Waliullah Rahmatullah Alayhi, when he found this, all the situation so grim, Muslims ki surtayal par unhe dili taklif hui, to unho ne do kaam ki. Ek to Muslims ka taz kiya, nafs kiya, और उन्हें कहा कि हिंदू कल्चर आदात रस्म और रिवाज फसाइल इन चीजों से बाहर निकलकर इस्लाम को फॉलो करें एक तो उन्होंने तबलीग का काम किया दूसरा उन्होंने हिंद अफगानिस्तान के बादशाह अहमद शाह अब्दाली को दावत दी कि वो हिंदुस्तान में मराठों की ताकत को खत्म करें अहमद शाह अब्दाली केम और इन पानीपत क्लियर उत्तर प्रदेश देयर वाज अ फाइट जो एक बहुत बड़ी जंग हुई और उस जंग में तमाम हिंदुस्तान के लोग इकट्ठे थे तमाम हिंदूज वर देयर फ्रॉम रिलीजियस डिवोशन वो रिलीजियस डिवोशन के साथ इकट्ठे थे कि मुसलमानों को खत्म कर देंगे फॉर्चूनेटली दे हिंदूज लॉस्ट एंड द मुगल और द मुस्लिम रेट रिवाइव्ड ऑन दीस एरियाज लेकिन ये किस्सा खत्म नहीं हुआ same times sikhmat started in gujranwala raja ranjit singh born in gujranwala it took power took control of lahore snatched many areas of punjab from the mughal empire expanded into kashmir and affiliated regions of kpk again the student of shah waliullah rahmatullah sayed 
Ahmed Shah Bareilly he start launched jihad and Syed Ahmed Bareilly launched the jihad against the Sikh and he gathered many successes but unfortunately because of some treason apno ki gaddari ki wajah se he was martyred at balakot present day uh, se hazara valley to balakot mein shaheed ho gaye okay and this thing was continued ke hindustan se ek in from iran a king nadir shah durrani he came plundered delhi killed the people and it really smashed the mughal empire usne mughal empire ko buri tarike se tabah bardad kar diya well meanwhile in 1660 british had established east india company and far east india company clear pehle jahaz unka surat गढ़ में आए और यहाँ पर उन्होंने अपनी तजारती कोठियाँ बनानी शुरू कर दी जहांगीर अलाउड दैम क्लियर और जहांगीर के बाद दे स्टार्टेड कैप्चरिंग दिस लैंड द मुगल एम्पर शाहजहाँ एट दैट टाइम फॉट अगेंस्ट दैम एंड टुक देयर एवरीथिंग कैप्चर्ड एवरीथिंग ओके ब्रिटिश शॉर्ट फॉर माफी उन्होंने माफी मांगी एंड दे स्टार्टेड ट्रेडिंग अमंग दीज एरियाज दे वर वेरी क्लेवर और फिर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता दिस केम हियर एंड दे स्टार्टेड कैप्चरिंग द लैंड एंड देन दे फर्स्टली कैप्चर्ड हैदराबाद एंड दे डिफीटेड सॉरी दे कैप्चर्ड बंगाल दे डिफीटेड नवाब सराज उदौला आफ्टर they defeated tipu sultan and then they slowly uh swept into india and in 1857 they took control of the delhi and then onwards they took control of the sindh and later on they took control of most of the punjab and then they swept into afghanistan jab tak anglo afghan war hui and then durand line was established as a line between the afghanis and the british empire clear this whole area is called british india clear in 1957 war the muslims were completely crushed theek hai they had lost everything they were expelled from their properties then in in uttar pradesh india clear ek madrasa bana that was deoband kyunki muslimano ne socha ke inka ek hi tahfuz hai aur wo hai deen ke sath to deoband ka madrasa bana clear aur us second move was sir sayed ahmed khan who established uh, the mohammedan school and then aligarh university and he wrote many uh magazines for the muslim and british reconciliation because he was a former employee of the east india company and he had served a lot to the uh british clear in the time of uh, war of independence fine another madrasa established in nadwatul ulama delhi okay the people uh, qualified from uh deoband they were true freedom fighters and they fought many times against british and they launched many noble uh, revolutions against british the notable people are uh, molana mahmud al hasan clear molana mahmud al hasan that was really the true spirit clear asire malta second molana obaidul asindi who launched tarike reshmi rumal and molana mohammad ali johar and others they uh, launched 
the Khilafat movement clear. These were the people who made the basics of the Pakistan movement. Later on, the people qualified from uh, Aligarh University, Nawabwa, Karul Mulak, Fazli Akhairabadi, and many other people. Sorry, uh, uh, Nawabwa, Karul Mulak, Kent, Khan, Lakhatil Khan, and other people. They were the second slot of the. They were the second slot produce. Uh, the, they were the first major people, and the second in after the Deoband who got the Western civilization and they advocated and pleaded the case of Pakistan and finally Pakistan came into being in 1947. This is all about the a uh, brief review of the history of Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, history of subcontinent and the Muslim rules and the end of the Muslim rule. Thank you very much.